I'll be honest, I am obsessive about the interiors. I studied architecture, it's all going to be perfect. But I've got my finger out. Is draft excluder really that? Is it well, retro? It's like probably retro because my grandma, no. and then it was passed <laughs> to my mum, had a sausage dog. Yes, Do you the sausage yeah, dog? Yeah. I'd like to have a sausage. Yeah. <laughs> called death date calculator. <laughs> Yeah, they're online. So I just thought, out of interest, <laughs> just, put, just put Janet's details. And you just have to put, you know, like, height, weight, where you live, age, OK? And your death date yeah. is the 13th of May, 2012. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not getting in it without the chair. Stacey, <laughs> <laughs> don't seal me in it! Oh, well, that's She's the whole most point. I've now got fish! It won't be private <laughs> otherwise, Janet. <laughs> I've got claustrophobia. <laughs> Do you like it, pretend. Janet? Do you like it? Would it would feel. Just close it up. It'd get very steamy in there, wouldn't it? <laughs> Has it got any air holes? <laughs> I feel like there's any air holes in there. Do you know what? Can you hear me? No, it'd be really nice if we could just keep her in that all the time. Like I've never seen her so excited. <laughs> I know, Linda. You have babies, I have plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Italian radicchio. Oh, I love it. Yeah. 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 Nice. All right, Linda, I'll have it. OK, OK. <laughs> Sorry, I'll have it back. Don't have to finger it too much. This is my purple sprouting broccoli. Oh, nice. oh there's nice. oh, yeah. Not many really eggs on there, is there? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll be quiet. Are you a <laughs> cook? Can you cook? Oh, what I do you cook. wear in the house? I thought that's what everyone wore in the house, baggy tracksuits. I've got a cashmere. Oh, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have, Janet. <laughs> I've got a cashmere jumpsuit. My knee was killing me, but I just thought it was helping lying alongside it in the bed. <laughs> oh, I know. I oh, know, oh, that, that really must have infuriated you, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Wearing pyjamas out in public, even if it's only in the car to take your children to school or go to the corner shop to get a pint of milk. What about putting the bins out? Still, you're out in public. You're in your pyjamas. Well, I'm guilty of all of that. All right, that. well, hang on a minute. I'm just <laughs> run through them all. You can fight back in a minute. Uh, having tattoos that are visible all over your body, slogans, Funny birds growing up under your chin, hearts coming out of your cuffs, names of women you went out with in the year, dot, blokes you dumped, all of that, all that writing all over your body, common and slob-like in the extreme. Number three, piercing your baby's ears. Yeah, I agree that there. Horrible. Some people, some people give religious reasons for that. Okay, well that might be the case, but all right, the, the voice of balance <laughs> just said something and I'm ignoring it. <laughs> and uh, the next item is caterpillar brows. Now, caterpillar brows, those things, those black furry things oh, that God, you find yeah. in cabbages, living on the top of your head, and I'm not saying they come from one part of the country more than another, because I don't want to offend anyone. I know what you're saying. It. postcodes, yes. <laughs> there are parts of the country where the big brow is more prevalent than others. And finally, looking... Only six things. Yeah. <laughs> Slippers. Oh, we can't even wear slippers oh. now. You can't, can't wear slippers oh. out. Slippers Why? are in. I was doing really well until that point. When you got slippers. to, I wear more slippers. Slippers. All over the place. What a load of rubbish. Okay. <laughs> Who could possibly have a view about what puts us in a bad mood? Oh. Why do they keep cutting up pictures of me? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, Janet. Or is it one hour fifty-two minutes? Yeah. Well, Janet could fill the next one. I was going to say, what do you, <laughs> do, you, what do, you do the rest of the day? I, as part of my rehabilitation uh, of Janet, you know, nice, positive, smiley Janet, who <clears throat> talks to people who doesn't know, I'm limiting the number of things that get me in a bad mood. And at the moment, I'm walking uh, part of the way to work along a canal towpath. Yeah. So I'd like to say what gets me in a really bad mood every morning are cyclists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, Towpath is a shared space. Okay, there are yeah. women with baby buggers, yeah. uh, buggies. <laughs> there are, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> there are uh, joggers. Yeah. Hmm. Some joggers have their elbows out more than others. But the people that really get on my nerves are the cyclists that are whiz up behind you and haven't got a bell. <laughs> but 
I hear you. I hear you. In our old studios that we used to yeah. live, work, whatever, um, I used to commute and walk in from, from Vauxhall, so I totally hear what you're saying. Yeah. Cyclists come from behind you, and then they're right there, or you're going <laughs> under a canal bridge, and it's a very confined space, and then you hear, bing, 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 and I said to one yesterday, what do you want me to do? Get in the canal! <laughs>